I was always going to be involved in the design process of um, the hunting of the snark pretty much right from the start. I think it was decided at um, the initial meetings that I was going to be doing the um, creatures of the Bandersnatch and the Job Job uh, uh, at least, um, possibly more. Um, as it turned out I ended up doing um, quite a few more characters than I originally anticipated doing but it actually um, was quite an enjoyable process. The process was quite um, fluid and quite simple really because um, there was a lot of input. Um, I had a lot of uh, some really good briefs from the director and the I was working with the producer on producing the puppets anyway, so um, it was uh, quite a seamless process really. Um, I sort of uh, adapt it from the brief in my sort of my own way, um, sort of like drawing on people that I've met, uh, people that I've seen um, on TV or in an image or a book or somewhere, um, anything that sort of triggers a sort of a response. The thing that was most useful for me in the design process was that we did actually have those initial seven or so characters already, so um, I had something else I could draw on, so I had like a general style I could sort of um, sort of blend them all into, so they, it, it, again it was, it was quite seamless really. Um, once the designs were sort of finalised with the director, um, they were all okayed and okayed with the producer as well, they, um, the next stage was to um, go starting on the sculpting process. Um, I started sculpting the heads so I was sort of working on sort of two or three heads at a time quite often. Um, so say the, the sculpts all checked and so on and so forth. The next process was to um, start the moulding process for the heads uh, which again was uh, quite a lot of trial and error in the long run. We tried a few things that uh, we tried a few substances like we tried something called algin at first which produced its own problems, um, mostly the fact that the moulds weren't very permanent so if you needed to reuse them, for example if you need to remake a head for one of the puppets that you can see behind me, um, then um, it was kind of difficult if your moulds um, no longer usable so um, we had to come up with another way so we through a lot of trial and error we went for um, room temperature vulcanisation rubber which is RTV which um, we made the moulds for the heads in two parts so um, you do the bottom half first and let it set and then you do the top half and then you split it in half that's pretty simple really um, for the actual heads that we tried latex to make the heads first but obviously it's an air drying thing so it didn't dry in the mould so that was problematic in itself so we eventually settled on polyurethane rubber because it was light, it was flexible and it gave superb detail in conjunction with the moulds which also um, brought out my sculpts really well as you can see so um, yeah once they were all sort of again out of the moulds and everything was um, sort of trimmed and tidied up the next process was to paint them again the um, hair colour and skin tone etc went pretty seamlessly really I was also working on the um, the bodies for them because obviously having a head is no good if you haven't got a body to put them on so um, we made custom ones and um, made them with a stainless steel tube top and bottom to form the torso and then it was literally two mil armature wire two strands bound together by using a power drill you just literally put two strands together you sort of slightly weave them together and then you sort of put them in the end of a power drill tighten it up and then sort of it binds them together anyway the next process was to heat shrink them and then obviously it was to cut them to the right scale for the armatures so they form like the arms, the legs and the spine and the neck um, then we made the feet out of some metal I think it was steel again so obviously we were bearing in, bearing in mind we were using magnets to sort of support them on the on the thing so we wanted them to stay where they were put we didn't want them falling over because obviously that creates its own problems so once the bodies were all made the next process was to make the hands hands were again um, armature wire, it was literally one mil armature wire and you film, form the hands in, in two parts um, the first part is to do um, the top two fingers and the thumb and then, then of course you do the bottom two fingers next and then you bind them together uh, you sort of twist them together like that so then they form like a hand and then the next process is to heat shrink the fingers so obviously you've got a nice straight finger shape like that 
and then obviously the next part after that is to do the palm area which is this area and obviously the backs so um, and then part of the way up the wrist as well so if, if required of course and then if we did that with um, cotton wool and PVA glue and then obviously you have to wait for that to dry the next process after that um, is to um, get your skin tone on now we achieve that by using latex with paint mixed in so all in all the design process was was kind of fun and kind of enjoyable like making these guys was so yeah